I just received what I think is the absolute coolest jacket in the world. And in this video, I'll share the unboxing, give a detailed look and talk about the good, the bad and the awesome. Let's go. Welcome to Get It Together, and if you're new here, this channel is just me trying to figure out how to get my life together and sharing the tips and lessons I learn along the way. If you have been with me for a while, you'll know two things about me. The first thing is that I've been learning about and implementing various elements of minimalism into my life, which means in general, consumption has become a lot more intentional, and the idea of fewer yet forever items is important to me. And two, I absolutely love entrepreneurship, especially how democratized the possibility is for regular people just like us, and have created a few campaigns on Kickstarter with projects like the Aristo Razor, the Puzzle Coaster, Spec DNT, and Queen P. Well, about a year ago, I came across a campaign on Kickstarter for the Creator Swappable Modular Back Denim Jacket, and I just had to back it. It is by a huge margin the most expensive jean jacket I've ever bought, and with all things crowdfunding, there can be fear that reality won't end up meeting expectations, and especially with clothes, fit feels like a shot in the dark. But the concept was so compelling that I just had to support, and the philosophy behind the design was one that aligned perfectly with my desire to buy less, yet use more. With a few delays due to obvious global supply chain and logistics issues, I nearly forgot about it and was so excited to get it in the mail this past week. So without further ado, let's get into unboxing. The Creator Modular Swappable Back Jacket came in this gigantic box, branded with their wordmark on the tuck front. Sealed with some nice floral Japanese style washi tape, the other side of the tuck front tells their story succinctly. This is phenomenal copywriting that reads, The Endless Canvas, a jacket that tells the story of the person beneath the fabric, even when that story changes. Break out the knife, slice the tape, and here we go. Opening the box, I was pleasantly surprised to find the jacket protected in this big reusable tote bag. There was a card with some marketing material and this enamel pin with the company's logo. Nice touch. The bag itself bears the creator wordmark and Toronto, the city that raised me and continues to inspire me every single day. Pulling out the jacket immediately, all of my apprehensions of putting my money down blind on Kickstarter vanished, just feeling the quality and weight in hand. As you can see, I went with their Raven colorway, this deep black. But the Creator jacket is also available in a pale blue called Oceanside and a deep denim called Cobalt. Unboxed, it comes folded in half and right away the care and level of detail was obvious. A nice subtle brand label on the upper left chest, nice and consistent stitching on the inner branding patch, and even these subtly branded buttons were all so great to see. Undoing the top button revealed the hang tag string and yanking it out were two hang tags, one branded and one with yet another great piece of copywriting. The endless canvas. For over a century, the denim jacket hasn't changed. Until now. So let's see what they mean by that. Unfolding the half fold will give you a hint. Immediately, the matching back panel of the raven black colorway I chose is seen. End edging with a full wrap zipper and surface edging with the hook side of Velcro. Peeling it back reveals a protective sheet, and most importantly, the back panel design that I chose when I ordered it. With 50 unique back panel designs and even more being in the works, it was a very difficult decision. Creator Brand finds, works with, and curates pieces from artists all over the world, and I went with a design titled Yamoto by a Japanese illustrator named Yasuke Yamazaki. It's a collage of Japanese cultural iconography. For you though, in terms of the purposes of this video, the individual design matters less than the quality of the on-fabric graphic execution. This was yet something else I was afraid of buying blind, but oh man. The colors are vibrant, the lines are crispy, and the texture of the gradients, shading, and accents are all so well done. I thought they were going to use direct-to-garment printing, but this quality in resolution is definitely well-executed sublimation. First printing the graphic onto a special paper with special ink, then heat pressing against the fabric to truly infuse a textile with the print. Meaning, the ink isn't just sitting on top of the fabric, it's in it. Literally a part of the fabric. And the more and more I see, the more I know why the price is the price. With the artistic component, it's easy for me to lose sight of what's really the most important. After all, functionally, this is a jacket, and more crucially, the main draw of the jacket to me is that it serves double duty, with the ability to switch art panels, but also back to the core denim if I just want to wear a plain black jean jacket. So let's look at how swapping works. It's really, really simple. 
Step one is to undo the Velcro border, and as you make it to each corner, to pop the corner out of the lipped denim frame to prevent the Velcro from reattaching. Once all four corners are out and the Velcro is detached, step two is the easiest. Just unzip and remove. Step three is to do everything in reverse. So zip up the new panel and re-adhere the Velcro, popping the corners in as you get to each one. This is a step that requires the most care, since you want to adhere the Velcro in such a way that no wrinkles or bunching happens. I'll fast forward myself switching back to the Yamoto design, since I want to wear it with the art. The experience of swapping back and forth really demonstrated how ingenious Creator Brand's product design is. And speaking of which, come on, how does it fit and look on body? I guess you need to be the judge of that for yourself. So this is me going down some stairs. This is me in the trying to look cool pose. And to end things off, I'm just gonna do a slow 360 turn so you can see the jacket on body in every single angle. So one note on fit. On Creator's own website, they recommend sizing up because their jackets do run a bit small. I stand at exactly six feet tall and hover around 175 pounds and typically wear a medium. This large size, on the other hand, is awesome in terms of the fit I'm after, but gives my arms perfect range of motion and makes layering with, say, a hoodie awesome as well. But again, my recommendation mirrors the one on their website. Whatever size you typically get, go one size up. Okay, so what are my overall thoughts after wearing this every day this past week since I got it in the mail? This jacket, for lack of a better word, excites me because the quality makes it a long-term item, while the design is one that'll grow with me. I gotta bring it back to the words on the box. It's my endless canvas, the jacket that tells a story of the person beneath the fabric, even when that story changes. And this whole channel is about me changing, figuring out life, and telling the stories and sharing the lessons that I learn along the way. By the way, I link them in the description below if you are interested in checking them out for yourself. I am not affiliated with Creator in any way. I just love this jacket, and as someone who was an early backer pre-ordering this off of their Kickstarter campaign, I'm just overjoyed with the net result and delighted with the fit, finish, quality, and most of all, that it's aligned with my idea of buying less and using longer. By the way, if you like this video, I think you'll love these ones right over here. And if you got some value, please help me out by clicking that like button. That one small click or tap makes a big difference for my small channel. And if you got lots of value, do consider subscribing and hitting that bell notifier so you'll know the moment I upload new videos just like this one. But as usual, thanks for kicking it with me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.